I honestly don't know why they'd never put a ladder just down there to connect up. Because then you could run at the front door, run up here, climb up the bell tower, and go through here again. Speaking of which, this is one of my favorite spots to invade from. Get a lot of cool options. Deepering. More cool shit to look at. Sorry, mildly interesting shit. So there's that one thrall that um, walks along there. We won't have to deal with him as consequence. We don't have snipers shooting at us because we murked him. This thrall will not cl uh, climb up to hit us. Because, well, he's taken care of. We're just going to wait here. You can try to shoot that guy from over there, but it's awkward as hell. It's, uh, it's a weird angle because of invisible walls. I wouldn't recommend actually trying it. It's bizarre. But they knew what they were doing, obviously. Yeah, you're gonna clip? Fall. Fall, damn it. Ah, uh, no, obviously not. Alright, cool. We have Halberd guy up here. There's that for all we murked there. Oh, there's his corpse. How timely. There's this other one down here. He's the one that had a little walk. And is now down there. Sometimes he'll just fall to his death. Sometimes. Other times he's not that dumb. Alright, kind of hoping I don't get don't get invaded now, because we're almost done. Yeah, we're going to play stealth here. Yeah, I'm just going to say lightweight rest of the episode. Fuck it. If I had had more large shots, I would have got the other whips um, up to plus six. Or at least plus four. Because that would have made uh, Deacons quite fun, actually. Because they could have poisoned all of them without using, like, mist. Um, toxic mist or whatever. Yeah, I could have let him out a little. Oh, come on, do it. You get an instant transmission for me, buddy? If I kill you? Too early. Huh. Oh, yep, there we go. If I had have timed it right, I could have done a little... The instant transmission pop from Dragon Ball Bridge. Alright, Arbalest. That is it, right? I'm not going nuts. Yes. Which we can to a uh, one hand, rather. Which you kind of want to do with crossbows. Alright, we killed his friend who hangs out here, so we ain't going to climb up and get us. So we can just do that. And even then, that's probably a bad example, but you can angle to hit him. Hell tongue. Cool. There's another one in the pit uh, with our giant friend down there. We'll get that after the fact. Alright, here's the fun part. I could very easily die here. Not from these guys. Fuck no. Come on. Axe or hat, please. I like more fashion options. I like more weapon options. An axe with a quick step is pretty cool. It's very good on pyros. And other lightweight builds. I had it on my proper archer build. It was actually pretty good. There was an attempt. It wasn't a good one, but there was an attempt. Alright, let's grab the gem. Alright. Now, you've seen our great shield friends. There are tales of... Oh, oh, yeah, no, I timed that poorly. There are tales of guys in the Dragonary who never stopped swinging that were patched out um, and made a little more, you know, fair. But these guys can get like it too. There are a lot of instances where they do not stop swinging. And I fucked that up badly. Kind of surprised that we didn't trade though. Whoop. Oh. Camera's fucking with me. Hey. Why am I hitting you? Muda muda. Uri. Kono. Baranda. I guess. I'm mildly curious as to what you're getting at, mate. I'm feeling really dumb. I don't get it. I've never looked at that artwork before, so thanks, I guess. Inadvertently, thank you. I wish we, I wish we had a great bow of our own right now. I mean, we could. The Millwood great bow's in the DLC and I have the strength to use it, but besides the point. Alright, let's heal up, because we're almost there. He's seen us. He hasn't, but he has. Just out of range. Here we go. Alright. Yep. 
Okay, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Now, if you run fast enough, eventually, we hear that clanking. It'll stop. If you look down, of course, here's a fucking item. <sighs> of course he does. Alright. And there's nothing over there. Um, he's the only dude in the game that drops the heavy crossbow. Not worth it, though, because the obelisk is just straight up better. See you later, fucker. Now we're just going to drop down here. And we are safe. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Other than kill you and not hit patches. I take that part, that second part back. Y yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm patches. Unbreakable patches. You seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Oh, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me. But, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. Hmm. So anyway, yeah, patches are um, pretty powerful, of course. Let's get Sieg's armor. Let's get you. I'd like to use this, but we get a free one later on, so fuck it. For farming purposes. That's weird. We can only buy one at a time, but sure. Sure it'll. Let's get a couple of these, and we're good. We don't need no stinking levels. And two of these. Alright, beautiful. Thanks, good cop. Sorry, what? Uh, can't find anything in. Oh, you could. Okay. Dialogue cut off there. That was kind of weird. Right, so uh, there's Patches. Bet you've never seen him in one of these games before. Haha, ha, I made a joke about that. Well done, me. Uh, amazing. I'm, I'm great at this. Beautiful. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Ow, fuck you. Alright, we're just gonna walk forward before we get invaded again. Yeah, you are. You guys slug about, alright? Go on, give yourself to Rosario, Cathedral of the Deep. Once you've completed the main game, of course, and Sirius is, isn't gonna be pissed off at you. That's kind of the annoying part. You can interact with her and- well, actually, you know what, we'll do this. Because I'm gonna maybe do this off camera. Talk to her after joining Covenant. Well, that's weird how she doesn't talk, almost as if her tongue was cut out. So, offering pale tongues will break Sirius's quest. You can do either of these with impunity. And of course, there's the glitch where you can just eat. Oh, yeah, we gotta reload for Kirk's armor. We'll do that later. Um, there's a glitch where once you click OK on um, uh, fixing up your stats and then force quit um, through whatever means you have on the console or PC you're playing on, yeah, um, you don't use a tongue. Really handy, given you only get five of them. I used to think, um, coming from playing one, where I was like, I'm still kind of like it now. Oh, but playing through the game's half the fun. But nowadays I get the whole idea of, man, I really don't want to play all the game to change my PvP build up a little. 
especially given how much shit you have to go through as an invader to, you know, assuming you don't want to fuck over quests. Alright, we'll grab that shit in a sec. Let's grab that. Then we'll take care of you. Um, just the sheer amount of crap you have to deal with, such as... Well, we can't offer anything to Rosario and do, um... Leonhard's quest yet. Oh, well, I mean, we have to get to Analondo in the first place to even complete it. But Cirrus will be incredibly fucking pissed with us. Um, and we kinda need to get to the bridge on, uh, in Irrefil to get Creighton to invade us. That was not worth it. Given I have 61, all farmed, none of those are bought. <laughs> um... Have to be able to cross the bridge in Aerofil to get Creighton to um, to show up with Cirrus, who then invades you and you kill him and get you, get the Dragon Slayer uh, the Dragon Slayer axe in the armor, and then Cirrus after beating Aldrich gets you the one v one Hodric, which gets you his armor and the Mound Maker's Covenant if you missed that, ah, uh, and then you can kill Cirrus I guess, but at that point just go fucking beat Twin Princes and complete it, just complete the quest line. And then you can finally have the Sunless Talisman for poise casting Dark Hexes. Not that there are many good ones in this game. Also, that wasn't him. The Giant Stomp has some weird hitboxes. Like that. <laughs> Fuck these guys up. The problem with these slimes is that you don't even get enough souls to justify the firebombs. Yeah, like that. Can you you guys not, please? Excuse me? Just fuck off. Nailing two at a time makes it worthwhile, but man. I'd, yeah, 44 each, so yeah. But that's only, again, because of the Silver um, Serpent. Yeah. I know I should probably be delaying it even more so, but like, come on. This is how I was going to play through the game initially, not just with the whip, but lightweight. Um, but, you know, getting that flamberge. Okay, you know what, I'll try it even later should we get a chance, but we are not going to. Not until Irrefill Dungeon. Alright, now please, no one invade me now. <laughs> I don't want to do the boss in one go. I'd like to head back. And be able to, you know, read some item descriptions. Plus, we got this shit to pick up. So, the Drang Armor. Because DS2 references do exist here, believe it or not. It was weird, because initially, without playing DS2, I understood, um... Watching a playthrough, the old Best Friends playthrough, and then playing through it myself, I kind of I got the sentiment of, yeah, there's not a lot of DS2 stuff in here. But the more you play it, you realize it's just more of a fact that Dark Souls 1 um, callbacks are so overt that a lot of the DS2 ones go kind of unnoticed as consequence. I mean, there's obvious shit like, yeah, it's the Drang Armor, of course. That's the Llewellyn set you get um, from Chancellor Welliger. Um, and you can farm from the, um, what are they called? The, the fucking Stone Knights. I remember the proper uh, the proper name, the horse-headed ones. Alright, so now that Audacity has betrayed me, let's just go finish this off. Yeah, Leonhard just kind of chills now until we go start his quest proper. But yeah, um, hmm, thanks Audacity, I knew shit was going way too well, but oh well, I guess we'll uh, take care of this shit now. So, um, I was going to always head up to the bell tower at some point, now seems like the best time possible. A uh, possible, I should say. Did we get the lizard? I forget. No, we didn't, okay. Well, let's just do this now. You can always trade shit with the crow, which I will do on the off time. Notable things are the black firebombs, which will give us... Oh, no, that's going to miss. 
uh, give us our second Titanite chunk, which can get one of our weapons up to plus seven. And there's some other cool stuff. I might as well do it now, because fuck it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, Bell Tower, now's the right time to go do it. Um, the stuff we can grab up there, and someone will spawn now, because we've met him at Cathedral. Wonder who it could be. We drop that. Drop this. We can drop a skull. We can drop a prism stone. I've done a homeward bone. You can you can use that for Lucatil's mask, but I'm gonna hold on to one for the meantime, on the off chance I actually have enough to get um, the bloodlust. Fingers crossed. And I did buy a leather shield. I chucked it out though. Damn. Pumperum, pumperum. Beautiful. Iron leggings. Twinkling tight night. Hello carving. Yeah, sure. That's... I hate it when that happens. Must have been a misclick. It'll be there in the video. Iron helm. Cool. Gee, wonder who this could be from. Hmm, a night of sunlight, hey? From an old age. Hmm. Kind of weird Solaire stuff exists you know, this long. It makes stuff for, like, Havel's gear to have survived. And, like, I can understand there being, like, recreations of certain lore-appropriate pieces of gear, I guess. Um, like the Astora set, for example. The Astora Knight set. I can imagine that can Oh! I can imagine that continuing through the ages, but, um, yeah. Kind of weird so Lair's legacy lived on, but I guess it's appropriate. Could this be a curse? Or could this be a Firekeeper Soul? We won't ever be using it in this playthrough because I don't really want to get rid of the, uh, the Dark Sigil, but... Yeah, maybe one day. Soul of a Firekeeper who is said to have returned from the Abyss. As Firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the Dark Sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet, her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another Firekeeper. Anyway, now my dramatic reading's over. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> Yeah, so either we're just out of range, or he's not there. <laughs> not actually there, at least, as a model we can interact with. So over there is the Firekeeper's shit. Firekeeper's set, I should say. I should, I should have a little more respect. I'll get that later, when I feel like falling with style and dying a bunch, because normally I nail it pretty easily, but there are some fucky jumps. Oh, hey, look, Firekeepers. Eyes covered in wax, though. That's curious. Almost like that'd be a reference or something. That's probably... Yeah, you know, yeah, that is one of the more subtle references in this game, actually. Yeah. That does have an actual degree of subtlety to it. Whips, how do they work? I think you guys have a good idea after this part. Holy crap. What are we at anyway? I haven't leveled. Um, I intentionally spent everything at patches so I wouldn't, to be completely honest. Because, you know, I don't really need much right now. And we're about to get a ton of levels in the next part. Fingers crossed at least. Ah, look, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. Not one bit. You get these urges 
running the business and all, and, and oh, well, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Oh, for heaven's sake, no need to jest with a face like that. You're still alive, and I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Right and proper, huh? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> now, to my understanding, there is no reason to forgive him. Especially because if you... If you miss him in Cathedral by going going to the rafters immediately, this is the only way to get prostration. The gesture. So, you know, better not to vi forgive him. He doesn't have anything new, but if we do this... Ah, I see you've met Rerat. A slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> The horse hoof ring. An old ring with a seal depicting a horse's hoof. Boosts kick effect. Unbreakable patches adored this ring and the feeling it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depths of treacherous traps. But suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on the old tired trick. But who is, so who is Vasoria? The horse who knows only to kick, or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought. Well, Miyazaki, I kind of have to because I want the fucking quest items, alright? Stop being a... stop fucking judging us, alright? Yeah, I'll grab this later anyway. It might be funny if I do, like, a dumb shield-only episode. Right? Ah, I well. Yep, cool. <laughs> now we can leave. Thanks, good compere. Yeah, so that cut off in um cathedral that was weird all right well we're good patch is taken care of time to go take a care of sieg take a care of sieg yeah that's totally what i meant to say um yuria is still pissed she won't be in a few parts because i'll actually be able to go sorry i visited a statue and now you forgave you forgive me right was that a fall of night with a katana Ugh, casuals um, seek guidance, you can see messages, eh, it's law, it's not particularly interesting. Got some cool shit like this, um, NFP given sword, it's just gonna be on your person when you kill something. Um, huh, when did I get that? Must have picked it up without thinking. It's the second one, yeah? Ooh, cool, that'll be fun. Uh, drang hammers. They're not the best, but they're pretty cool. Paired hammers of the Drang Knights, descendant from the land, known for the legend of linking the fire. For the linking of the fire, whatever. When they disbanded, they scattered across the lands of cell swords. They quickly became known for shieldless, aggressive tactics that struck fear into the hearts of men, which is why power sensing isn't in the game. Because we're too cowardly, I guess. A long hilted spear with winged lugs. Long reach, and can be used with a shield up. Uh, yeah, um, it's Patch's Spear. I believe it does quell, it's either awesome with a lightning infusion, or shit. Which would imply it's got good faith scaling or terrible faith scaling. Yeah, it's either a cruel joke on Patch's or, you know, him getting the last laugh, I guess. Um, check that away for now. St. Biden, um, from St. Klimt, he discarded this weapon upon he, he discarded this weapon that draws upon one's faith on the day he put his own faith behind him because you know the deep happened and shit um i think that's the only other weapon we got the dagger we don't need parrying dagger you know used by a guy called lord trek of karim um barb straight sword of the infamous kirk knight of thorns serve a fair lady and all that hope he wasn't a proper dick wraith all right, I saw a great sword, long ass sword, really cool. Bunch of people running past me. Shotel, 
um, tragic Embrace Knight, uh, gets around shields like uh, Carthus Shodal does as well. Alright, um, Arbalist's big powerful crossbow. Um, uh, Saint uh, Tree Belvine, um, Miracle Casting Catalyst, and yeah, it gives us a uh, casting buff. We go faster instead of having to use the Saint's Ring. We can get rid of that. Um, if you had poison on shield bashes that weren't great shields, this would be pretty alright. Otherwise, it's not great outside of like cosplay and fun builds, but I wouldn't recommend it. Even for a shield only build, the uh, pierce the pierce shield's far superior. Um, curse ward, great shield given to those who resisted the curse long ago. Far too heavy for an ordinary person. Perhaps it signifies the foolishness of resisting the curse, and yet those who bear it, who bear the weight, not it itself, of this shield, shall will not find its protections against curses wanting except for the part where curse resistance is not buffed it's metaphorical i guess um we got that nothing no law to up oh, here we go actually white hood worn by traveling maidens part of the formal attire regardless of rank it is soft and well made but ill suited for use in battle which explains why its stats are so crap uh, we got the Drang Armor, that's the only other thing worth looking at other than Grave Warden Robe. Rotting Tattered Robe. A tire of Grave Wardens at the Cathedral of the Deep. They were tasked with disposing the ever-rising corpses that plagued the Cathedral. Their clothes are utterly putrid, drenched in blood and mucilage of their undertakings. Um, you know, patches, stuff, fine attire was admired by friends and enemies alike, for his skills were unmatched and his heart was true as gold. As its new owner, you have quite the shoes to fill. And where is it? Come on. I mean, is that too? Why am I blanking on the drank set? Where is it? It's, yeah, there it is, next to the Brigand. Um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fine protection that that is both light and strong, having been reinforced with Gay steel or whatever, G J steel, whatever the hell. Um, yeah, separated, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's the armor you can farm in base, um, in the base DS2 from the Stone Knights, like I was saying before I got cut off. Um, but that got changed in Scholar and you get it from, um, uh, Chancellor Welliger. Um, Katarina armor, um, I'm reading this now so I don't have to read it after Yorm. Often ridiculed for onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights, but a masterfully, uh, masterly, masterfully <laughs> forged curved design makes them very effective at deflecting bows. Um, FP on crits. Um, infamous ap appetite for flesh, Aldrich have. Um, mm, luxuriating in his victim's screams. And there's this too. Eventually, you turn into a beast. Alright, that's everything. Oh, fucking deep ring. Attunement and shit. Um, in, you know, terrible things. Slumber. Um, I'm done. I've fucking been sitting here for minutes reading this shit. Alright. Let's head back to the front. Oh, sorry that took so long, but I want to get through all that crap. I mean, you can easily skip it. Like, who cares? I'm, I'm not that fussed about people skipping through these. Doesn't hurt the channel, I ain't monetizing any of this shit. I, I'm not giving YouTube a fucking cent. <laughs> Damn straight, if I if I was serious I'd open a Patreon or something, but whatever. Anyway, besides the point, let's hope we don't get invaded, because I don't want to deal with this shit again. Alright. Kill you for good measure. Kill you guys for good measure. Goodies? Nope, okay. As you can see, kind of, uh, kind of an abyss down there. Oh, I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me, Siegfried of Katarina. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? 
I wish I had to put it on. That would have been great. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now he'll be in the kitchen in Irifil. So I, I guess the implication is he kills the deacons as well or gets in of his own accord. That was either because dogs were way too close or he was being invaded. One of the other, I guess. Well, maybe the maggots got him. I doubt that because he couldn't use the bonfire. Ah, well. Alright, Kirk's armor. Last thing we have to... Last thing we have to read before the boss fight. I was going to say last thing we have to read for the whole fucking episode, but... No, of course not. That'd, that'd make things fucking simple. Alright. Over here. Thorns and such. Helm of Kirk. The notorious knight of thorns. A dense patch of thorns grows from its surface. A fitting item for the murderous Kirk, for even a simple act of rolling can damage enemies when wearing this attire. Uh, we were also going to just quickly check this. Sacred seal of Archdeacon Klimt, who served Rosaria, mother of rebirth, equipped to pledge oneself to the Rosaria's Fingers Covenant. Rosaria's Fingers collect tongues in her name. Some do it to be reborn, others do it to help comfort they're voiceless goddess. Others are just plain jerks. Some, you know, some reds um, help Rosaria, some do it to reborn. And like humans, um, some invaders are just jerks. Please stop that, Mr. Creighton. Of Mira. Uh, okay, fuck it, I'm running back to the bonfire. Screw this. This cannot stand. Okay, yeah, we I know we burnt the um, undead bone shard, but I was just checking, even though I knew that it couldn't be the case. That had to be the case, because we can only have six up until this point. The seventh is in Irifil. The eighth in the Prophetic Capital, and then the others at the end of the game. Out of the way, you. Okay. Yeah, Poison Mist is really great um, during this boss fight, but no need. Yes, the patches is fucked off, which means his buddies are up there. Well, this guy's buddies. Um, and the mangrove, uh, the mangrub stuff is kind of interesting. You get it from um, having a lot of pale tongues and giving them to Rosaria, mother of rebirth. You know, um, stuff that scales with um, luck, but you need the int required to cast, which you know, fair enough. Fair enough. Still kind of annoying. Oh, and if you want to be a real dick, you know what you do? You lower the bridge to the host and just hide over there. And the second you notice them coming from the rafters, you put it up and run out. And maybe they do it back to you too, but if you haven't killed the boss, which... Wait, what am I saying? You're being invaded. Of course not. You just run to the boss room. Depends on how much you hate invaders, though. I'm, I'm one myself, so you know. We don't always do dickish shit like that. Fireball's gonna tag me. He's moving. Move, not really. A night friend. And we have Anri. And we have Horus. And if we walk a little further, Cirrus will pop in right. Yep, there we go. There we go, cool. Alright, to make this a little more interesting, let's start off with this. I'm gonna poison the shit out of these guys. Oh, we can get rid of that. That'll increase their damage a tad. Alright, let's have some fun with the whips. 
and the cat is at my door. Perfect. Well, this is almost over, so this will work fine. Alright. Let's see. Oh, we're just going to kill them before we, before we even poison them anyway, so this isn't actually particularly great. Well done. That's annoying. Now, let's get in a bunch of them and just impact. Nope. Yeah, we'll poison some. So, uh, for the people who are unaware of how this fight works, the ones glowing red are the ones you have to kill. Killing the rest is just kind of useful anyway. So the fat guys will get poisoned though. Uh, poison mist is awesome for this fight. Toxic mist is even better if you have the uh, faith for it. Because yeah, it just becomes a stomp. Um, screw this. Normal whip time. Ah, oh, we can one shot them. Perfect. Cool. And once you get to a certain threshold, the real guy shows up. The real leader of this deacon group. Whatever you want to call it. The parish. Here he is. We just beat the crap out of all his boys. Like I said, coming here, here with a plus seven pyro flame is actually fucking hilarious. Um, and yeah, this is just kind of a better fight of Magus and Congregation. A better version of it. Um... Yeah, there's all I have to say, it's not a particularly hard fight once you know the gimmick. Um, first time I was here and I just wasn't dealing enough damage, um, eventually they start doing this kind of shit, where they summon a soul drake to smack you with. And eventually, there'll be a curse build-up as a clock. Basically, basically, it becomes like the Resident Evil timer of, Oh, city's about to be nuked! Kinda weird that was that absent from Resident Evil 3, actually. I think about it. So they're trying to cast a soul drake now, um, it's the spell from DLC. But, yeah. This fight was meant to be a little different initially. Um, where you'd come here the first time around. I should put the shield on, but fuck it. Um, you came here the first time. I don't know if you thought the Deacons, but Cathedral was a place you came relatively early anyway. Came to relatively early. What was meant to happen was these guys were Lords of Cinder. Yeah, haha, -ha, funny joke. No, seriously. Because Aldrich would pop out of a coffin. That was probably before they uh, slapped Gwendolyn into the fight. Um, don't know how that would have worked, but I imagined he would have been casting bullshit at you. But yeah, no, really. These guys were Lords of Cinder with Aldrich casting stuff at about half health, I guess. Um... Yeah, and even then, Gwendolyn's just a recycled mo model of Lothric. People took care of that ages ago and figured that shit out. Archdeacon set. No gloves, unfortunately. But yeah, as you can see, there's nothing else here for the arena. Um, Cinders, for a while, put some of the Cathedral Knights in and the Evangelists. Makes it, you know, a bit harder. Still not too bad, but that just kind of becomes you kite them all to the back. Anyway. Neat. All taken care of. Let's whack it on. Because this stuff is actually pretty decent. Um, in terms of the poise. Ah, Cornix's stuff looks pretty good, actually. Golden stuff look better. Crown looks a little more green than usual. It's probably the lighting, though. Let's whack a torch on. This is, this is the kind of gear I wear if I um, get invaded in time for the wedding up in Anolondo. Right, and we'll, yep, have a look at what it says. White crown worn by Arch, the Archdeacon, oh sorry, an Archdeacon of course, of the Cathedral of the Deep, presented solely to the delegates of the gods. Of the three Archdeacons, one cast his white crown off his white crown and left the Cathedral to stand by Aldrich. Uh, excuse me. I imagine that's the guy we get the old faithful off. I forget his name. McDonald, was it? Yeah, so there's Clint McDonald and there's another one I forget. He's mentioned in something else, but I can't remember for the life of me. Alright, well that's that done. Um, there's one thing I can go do, actually. Technically two. We'll go home, grab a level. Let's talk to Anri and Horace and go kill Horace, I guess. Gives me something to do. <laughs> gives me uh, something to farm souls for, I guess. Man, this is a way longer episode than I expected. Oh, well, longer session. Right. Um, why am I walking this way? Here they are. Oh, happy meeting. 
the game. We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Anri of Astora. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. The man-eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep, and so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irith Apen. Yep, and what do you have to say, Horace? Always engaging. Yeah, Horace is a real, uh, real talker. Alright, well, let's go merc him and sort out the Anri business for later. Alright, abandoned tomb. This is the place to go. Alright, so here's Horace. He's, uh, as talkative as ever. We're on equal footing here. I bought this after murdering our friend in Smoldering Lake. Harry Viss, casual. Ow. Why to say how that barely fucking hurt? I know it's meant to be Yeah. L1 into weapon art. Eh, sorry. R1 weapon art. R1 is the true combo. Pretty sure that still works. Llewellyn shield, let's have a quick look. Go talk to Henry and we're done. Metal shield crafted by a by the great smith. Fashioned from rare gay steel or whatever. It excels at various types of damage absorption. It's the parry shield of choice. Alright, see you at Henry, I guess. Alright, there's Henry. Would have come from that way, but that would have, uh, you know, triggered all the skeletons. And I didn't really want to fight him off while I had this quick conversation. Ah, oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Goodness me. To think there'd be a lake so deep in these catacombs. What a relief. I knew that Horus was alive and wouldn't stray far. Thank you. We are both in your debt. This hardly expresses my gratitude, but it'll have to do for now. Please take it. And may the flames guide your way. I will soon head to the lake. Thank you. We are both in your debt. May the flames guide your way. You can always say nothing to her, and she'll just end up in Irafil after Warn is dead, and you'll get the ring there. But it's easier just to do it now. The ring captured the foul spirit of an evil eye, a creature that ravaged Astora. Absorbs HP from each defeated foe. The horrid spirit nearly destroyed Astora, but was eventually defeated by the sword of one most noble. Actually quite handy during invasions, because anything that grants FP or HP on kill is an awesome way to track down the host. I know this is pretty common knowledge, but just saying it for people that don't know. And yeah, this is what the Grave Warden shit looks like, or what I've got. And also, yeah, this looks really dumb. If she's like, oh, I had no idea there's a lake, and Horace is sitting there like, sup. Anyway, we're done. That's everything taken care of. Um, catch, you catch you later for the Painted World Detour. Um, yeah, and then Irifil finally. Can't wait to get invaded there.